So I wanted to come show y'all something because I never get to show y'all this. I told y'all I cut all my hair off. You see that? No hair whatsoever. So I'm going in, which I got to, this side is shorter than this side. I got to go in and cut all that. So I try to cut it all even. Now, the back I left just a little bit longer because I got to go in later on and cut it with the clipper. So I want to come show y'all how I mold my hair to do like my quick weaves or even if I'm just molding my hair just to lay it down. So like right now you see this white stuff that's in there. Y'all know my mixture that I use, my growth mixture. That is what's in my hair. Now on the sides, I didn't use as much because the size of my hair and the style that I'm going to do, my hair is going to be out on the sides. Now this front part is going to be covered up because I'm going to put some tracks in the front. But I have to mold it down. So what I use so far is I use my mixture. If you want the ingredients to my mixture, um, I'll leave the video down in the description bar. And you can just click the link and it'll tell you exactly how to make it or whatever. So I use wrap lotion. Now, I used to use Nairobi all the time, but my hair gets used to certain products. So I have to change it up. So I've been using this motions, which lay my hair down. Like my hair is natural. Like it's natural right now. So... For this to be able to lay it down, that's good. It comes with the shea butter, butter um, argan oil, and coconut oil. So I use that and I put it in my hair. You see what it looks like. It's laying it down. I have little to no hair. Like I hardly have any hair. So I just took it and just took this little comb. I didn't even use a brush. I just used this little comb. You see how it looks. And then in the back, like the back like really curls up real bad. Um... Which also, when I use my mixture, it lays my hair down very good. That helps too. My mixture lays my hair down. It, it can either lay it down if you comb it through or you brush it through. Or it can curl your hair up. So it can do many things. So that's why the front is laying down like this. Now the mixture, I used a little bit in the back. Now for it to lay it down, I need to probably use a little bit more. But I don't want it to lay down too much and I don't want to put too much product in my hair just yet because I want to use the clippers in the back and if I put too much product it'd be hard to kind of you know cut my hair in the back so this is what my hair is looking like I don't hardly have any hair told y'all I cut all this stuff off and I went in and I trimmed it again because I cut it down but then um I had like those how you say it um overheated ends from me trying to flat iron and stuff so i had to cut the rest of that off so this is what i'm looking like right now and no i'm not gonna wear it like this i could wear it like this i could like take it and curl it like a real short a real short curl or i can put the the um mixture in and just let it be curly but that's not what i want so i did this and then now i'm putting this gel on it now this gel you know is made with protein is protein styling gel and um you know it doesn't mess with your hair it doesn't mess up your hair or anything so i like to put this on my hair when i am um when i'm gonna put tracks in a lot of people go in and like glue tracks in like that which that's fine but um i want to track it in on the top of my hair so i'm just putting this to kind of use it as a barrier and then at the same time I have my mixture in there at the same time this has protein in it as well so you know I'm actually I guess moisturizing and doing kind of like a protein treatment all at the same time with both of these using all of this so this is how I'm going to do it as far as that now if I was just molding it just to like leave it just laying down or to kind of pick it out I would have just used my mixture and I would just use a wrap lotion but this is how I set my hair and then I get under the dryer and then I'll either do the tracks like this or I'll use let me show y'all these these wrap strips um, you can use the white ones you can use the black ones a lot of people like use the, the white ones because they said the black ones sound like a paper bag like when you touch your hair but with me, I saturate mine, so mine don't never sound like that. I want to like dry and do whatever it needs to do. So I can put these on here, or I can just leave it just like this and sit under the dryer or walk around. You know, I don't do a whole bunch of the 
the dryer business and see I would do it like you know the little front you know move it around like that to kind of make it be cute short styles um which me losing weight my face is not as fat it's still kind of you know chunky but um losing weight kind of helped me to where I can wear a shorter style but I'm still trying to grow my hair out so I'm not gonna wear this out um I want a longer look so I'm going to add some tracks. So I'm going to go and decide whether I want to add these or I want to just put the tracks on. I think I'm probably going to add these. But um, y'all stay tuned for my next video. I'll be showing you exactly how, you know, I'm going to fix my hair or whatever. But I just want to come show y'all this short video of how to mold your short thinning hair. All right, guys. Give me a thumbs up on my video. Subscribe to my channel if you had not already. Subscribe to my other channel if you hadn't already. Make sure you check me out on social media and make sure you check out my shop. Make sure you click that bell for notification of my videos. Make sure you check out my IGT page and go shop with your girl. Um, like I said, the link to my, my video on how to make the mixture will be down below. Um, these products will be in my shop, so y'all go check out the shop. Other products that I use... Um, the hair that I'm going to be using for my next video. So y'all go check that video out too. But this is what we are looking like. Um, like I said, if I was just, you know, just setting my hair. But I want to show you two different ways. If I was just setting my hair to like brush it down, I would just use the wrap lotion and my mixture. That's all I would use. Let me see. This is what my mixture looks like. Sometimes I use the yellow shea butter. Sometimes I use the white shea butter. This one right here, right here is, I think, a little bit of the yellow because I think I ran out and I had to go get some more. So I ended up using the white shea butter. So I mixed it and I mixed my oils and stuff. So, and it smells so good. You got peppermint oil. It got all kinds of stuff in there. So go to the link below and it'll show you how to make it. Not exactly because I didn't use exact measurements, but you can kind of tell how much you want to put in there. So I put that in there. Then I did it and I just brushed it down and this is what we're looking like. So, But um, y'all go check it. Like I said, go check out my other video and I'll be showing you exactly how I style it. So this is just to show you how to mold your short thinning hair. Oh yeah, one more tip since you didn't get to see everything. When I comb it down with this comb, this part I go this way. Because you know most of my thinning areas is in here, mainly in here. Most of my thinning areas is mainly in here. So you mold your hair based on how either you're going to style it or how you're going to wear it. So I would wear mine to where this hair is like going over the sides. So, you know, you can't see my thinning edges as much. So that's something you got to remember. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, be blessed.